Hey guys, it's MJ, the student at Tree, and today I want to ask, what is risk? It's something that is fundamental to actuarial science, but it's something that I've realized we never get a clear definition on what exactly it is. So in this video, I'm going to explore what is the definition for risk. So a good place to start is um, with Google and when you type in the definition of risk in Google, it says a situation involving exposure to danger or expose something to danger, harm or loss. And I don't like this definition. It's too much, it's too, as we would say, colloquial, um, you know, it's people using risk in the everyday language and it's not necessarily talking about risk in the actuarial profession. So because I didn't like this definition, I decided to go to a website which I thought would maybe give a better one, and that was Investopedia. Um, Investopedia says that it defines risk as the chance that an investment's actual return will be different than expected. Now, I like the part where it says different than expected and not just focusing on the loss, but then the definition continues by saying risk includes the possibility of losing some or all of the original investment. Different versions of risk are usually measured by calculating the standard deviation of the historical returns of average or average returns of a particular investment, blah, blah, blah. Um, but that definition kind of shoots itself in the foot because the standard deviation doesn't just look at the downside risk, it will also look at the upside risk. So... They mention in their definition that it's the possibility of losing something, um, but they haven't included that it's also the possibility of gaining, and that's what the standard deviation will measure. It, it doesn't know if it's a bad risk or a good risk, something that we're going to get to a little bit later. However, my hope in the internet was not lost, as I went to the very trustworthy um, Wikipedia, and I really enjoyed their definition on risk. They said risk is the potential of losing something of value. So I don't like the beginning part. Um, and then it talks about blah, blah, blah. But here, right at the end, it says risk can also be defined as the intentional interaction with uncertainty. Ooh. Uncertainty is a potential, unpredictable, unmeasurable, and uncontrollable outcome. Risk is, now listen to this part, a consequence of action taken in spite of uncertainty. Now the words that jump up to me is uncertainty and consequence. So what I'm going to do is, well, I came up with my own definition, which I think just um, takes all of these definitions into account. And so I defined risk as risk is the result of the consequence of an uncertain event. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain this just in a little bit um, more detail. So risk is the result of the consequence of an uncertain event. I hope my English is right there. But anyway, let's say, for example, we have a coin. Um, the coin represents uncertainty because we're going to flip it. So we're going to flip our coin and it can either land on heads or it can land on tails. We're not sure what's going to happen. Okay. Now, my question to you is, what is the risk involved with this? Okay, of flipping the coin, and it can either be heads or it can be tails. Well, let's look. The result is that it's either heads or tails. The uncertainty is 50%, so there is uncertainty. We don't know if it's going to be heads, and we don't know if it's going to be tails. But here's the important part, and that is there are no consequences. If I take a coin and I flip it, I don't care if it lands heads or if it lands tails. That result has no consequence on my life. And therefore, there is no risk. Now, let's, let's spice this up a bit. Let's say I've got that same coin and my friend comes along and we do something known as gambling. So I say to him, I will pay you three bags of money if it lands on heads and you'll pay me three bags of money if it lands on tails. So now we still have um, the result can either be heads or tails. There still is that uncertainty, but now there is a financial consequence to the result of this coin toss. 
Um, if it lands on the one side, I'm going to be richer. If it lands on the other side, I'm going to be poorer. And thus, risk has been introduced. There's the risk that I may gain, and there is the risk that I may lose. So risk can be both positive and negative. And so therefore, there is risk in this situation. And notice how the consequence, it doesn't necessarily have to be financial. It can be a reputation risk. You know, you could uh, steal something, and if you caught your reputation, could be in ruin. So it doesn't have to be financial. And yeah, that is basically how I defined risk. And the reason I've made this video is because I'm studying for subject ST9, which is enterprise risk management. And it's all about risk and how risk relates to business and how risk is one of the most core um, building blocks to the financial and capital world. So these are going to be some of the future videos I'm going to be making with regards to this series. Um, I'm going to be going through an enterprise risk management textbook and just be making videos on the cool stuff that I learned. So I hope you like this video. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you want to see the rest of them. And yeah, that's all that I have to say for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.